Hi, I'm Mike Rooney. I'm a plein air artist from Topsail Island, North Carolina. And today we're going to do a quick demo on how to use Lucas painting butter. Painting butter actually mixes in with the paint and dries from the inside out and at the same time as the outside. So the whole painting, no matter how thick it is, will dry at the same rate. And what that does, it keeps it from cracking and breaking, things that happen when you lay paint on very, very thick. Like if I was to take paint and just lay on a big old whack of paint that thick right there, that paint as it dried, and it could take up to 100 years, they say it takes 100 years for paint that thick to actually dry, it would shrink and crack and it may fall off of the canvas. But with this painting butter, all that resin mixes in with it and it bonds it and it makes it dry at the same time, which alleviates that. This is awesome product for impasto painting. Uh, when you want really deep and thick effects on your knife painting, uh, this is the stuff to use. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a big old pile of it over here. And as you can see, it's, it's clear when it comes out of the tube. It does not affect your colors when you mix color with it. It does not affect the color. It's perfect. It doesn't thin it out. So what I'm going to do is I have this painting started. So I'm going to uh, start. This part is blocked in. I've been working this part a little bit and, and, and finalizing and then working with my painting. So I'm going to take the butter in some of the places that I want really, really build up. So I'm going to take white. As you can see, I'm taking titanium white. I use Lucas paint. It's awesome, awesome paint. It has a lot of beeswax mixed in with it. And I'm taking tons of this painting butter and mix it in, in with my white. It's about half and half right now. I'm going to take in some cerulean blue and mix in with it. And as you can see, I've got a lot of painting butter in there. And it's doubled, at least doubled the volume, but it hasn't cut the, the, the uh, intensity of the paint or the pigments or anything. So now I've got, I'm using a little bit of paint and a whole lot of butter. Look how much I have made. So I can go on here now and I can lay this on as thick as I want. Look at this. This is like frosting a cake. Look how thick that is. And the neat thing about it is, is that it's going to dry at the same rate as the parts that are real thin on this painting, which is, if you've ever painted thick, you know is a problem. If I painted that regular paint, that would take probably six months to dry. It would be dry to the touch in maybe two months. But right now, this will be dry by the afternoon, probably this afternoon. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in. And I'm going to use lots of painting butter on my lights. Now, just like regular oil painting, you paint your darks thin, but you paint your lights very thick. Now, you're going to use lots of this painting butter. And I tell you, this stuff is really, really inexpensive for the amount of product that you get in a tube. There's a lots of it, because you're going to use lots of it. I can build this painting up at least an eighth of an inch thick in some places if I want to. Now this is really, really neat. I mean, you can just go in. Look how thick I've got this. Now I can go in there and I can do that with all the light shapes. Now I'm going, going in here and I'm making it really, really thick. Okay, now look at that. Then you can take it and do this. You can, you can manipulate the surface. Look how thick. And then you can move it around. Take it and slide it up and down. And look at all the shadows. And that, is, that is very, very thick for those that like to really paint that thick. Now, that's a little thicker than I usually paint, but I'm trying to demonstrate to you the versatility of this product. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to make my tree shapes using the same, same stuff. Now, I'm not going to use much butter. I'm going to use a little bit of butter in the tree shape, in the, in the darks, in the shadows. But I don't want a lot of thick shape in my shadows. So what I'm going to go is I'm going to put a little bit on. Now what's nice about the butter too I found is that that it if you paint if you mix butter in with your thin shadow shapes, it also dries quicker. Now you know when you're oil painting with a brush how you the reason you paint thin with the dark shapes is so that you can lay light shapes over top of it. Well the butter does the same thing. The butter keeps the consistency but it thins it down. And it, and it doesn't thin it down, it, it dries it. It makes it dry very, very quick like it was being painted on thin. So it's, it's actually a, an accelerator. It hurries up and speeds up 
the drying time. Now, if I was outside, I could leave that little bit I've done right there alone and work on some more shadow shapes. And when I come back in about 20 minutes, this is going to be dry to the touch. So I can come back and put my light shapes on top of this dark, and it won't mix. It won't intermingle. So I could let that dry a little bit. So let's say I might come over here and start working on this shape over here, the shadow shapes over on this side, and leave that alone for a minute. It would dry, and I can come back to it. Now watch. I can go in there, and I can put thin shapes with more butter and just keep it really, really thin with some butter. Now what I'm doing, I'm carving in my shadow shapes. This butter is just really, really good for what you want. When you want something thin and you want it to dry quick. Which any, everybody that brush paints knows that's the reason you paint darks on thin. So that you can come back and put your lights on on top without without uh, without them intermingling. Okay, so now, now I have my dark shapes, my shadow shapes done in here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in here and scrape some of this off, and I'm going to put a little bit of butter in with it. Now watch how I can, br I can bring it up. I can make it thicker. That nice texture and that consistency is so fun to play with. And the parts that dry, you can come back and lay different colors on top of it. So if I was outside, I could leave that alone or say I take a break and come back in an hour or so. This part that I just laid on with the butter will actually dry before the other paint that didn't have butter in it. Because it may take all day or two days for this paint here, this strip here that had no butter in it. This will dry with the butter in it quicker than that did. So you plan it that way on the sandbar shape. I'm going to show you how thick you can get this with this painting butter without cutting the consistency of it at all. Get it nice and thick, but you're not going to be able to tell any color change or any difference if I was just mixing straight titanium white. That's what this is, titanium white with some uh, Naples yellow. Now I'm going to load this up. See me mix that how it's pretty thick. Then I'm going to load this knife up like I was frosting a cake, and I'm going to lay it right on top of it, very, very thick. This is super thick. Look, you can see how thick that is. And it holds. It's got nice hold. The ridges hold. Excellent for impasto. Now, the nice thing about that, that's not going to take six months or eight months to dry. That shape right there is going to dry probably by this afternoon. But look how nice and thick it is. It's not sagging. It's holding right there just like you want it. Look at this beautiful texture right here. That is why you knife paint, to have that kind of texture. I'm Mike Rooney. I hope you've enjoyed this short lesson on painting butter.